Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Adventures in Welding. I'm Paul. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you just saw the last video with the Ryobi grinder review, that was uh, the day after my carpal tunnel release surgery. It is now a week later. Got a little scar, but I have full use of my hand. Getting the other one done next month. Everything was great. If you got carpal tunnel, I highly recommend you have it done with the endoscopic surgery. You go back to work the next day. I mean, there's nothing to it. They told me to take it easy for a couple days, but once the numbing medication wore off, I was fine. So anyway, on to today's topic, and that is um, joining stainless steel to mild steel and mild steel to mild steel with this particular filler and we're talking about TIG welding and when we talk about TIG welding we're going to be talking about the Eastwood TIG 200 from our friends at Eastwood. It's a great machine, check it out. Anyway, the filler of choice, the recommended filler for joining uh, 304 stainless to 304 or 304 to mild steel is of course the uh, 309L stainless steel filler rod. But it's also a great rod to use when you're joining mild steel to mild steel. It has some good scavengers in it to kind of get out the imperfections. But since we're talking TIG, you know everything's got to be clean. All right. I got some test pieces or some, some coupons for us here. A couple pieces of uh, 1018 mild and a piece of 304 stainless. You can see the difference in them. You can see that any mill scale has been ground off the mild steel. Use the wire brush to get them to about as close to a mirror finish as possible. And I'm going to wipe them down. With this alcohol infused cloth. We're going to do some lap joints. So I'll make sure I get the edges. This is so important in TIG welding. Everything just really has to be clean. Or else it's going to come out as contaminations in your puddle. And that includes making sure to wipe down your rod. And if you've used it before, nip off the contaminated end. Okay. Let's get set up and ready to weld. All right, we're using the Eastwood TIG 200, a uh, 200 amp AC DC uh, dual voltage TIG welder from our friends at Eastwood. Uh, we're not going to be touching the amp control because we'll be using the foot pedal. Clearance effects only for AC welding. I got a pre flow I'm going to set for about half a second post flow. I'm going to turn it up to six seconds. We'll be welding in DC mode and we'll be controlling everything with the foot pedal, which I've got set for about a maximum of 70 amps. Using the number 9 torch, also from Eastwood, got a stubby gas lens and a 1 16th inch 2% thoriated electrode. Yes, I love the radioactivity. Makes my Wheaties taste better. Alright, I've got our pieces tacked together. We got the stainless on the bottom with a couple of mild steels stacked on top of them. We are ready to weld. Again, the pedal is set for a maximum of 70 amps. I don't know I'll need that much, but we'll find out. You want to make sure you keep a nice consistent dip timing. Try not to eat up too much of the edges on the top piece. And keep a very tight arc. 
a tight arc is a key. It keeps the voltage down, less work on your machine, less heat into your part. Everybody's happy. Come to the end, add a little extra filler, and stay in place until your post flow times out. All right, now. Just to prove that there's no funkification going on here, I'm going to bring you around in a live shot, so pardon the uh, handheldedness of all this. And you can see we've got a nice, even weld, nice silvery color. There's maybe a little salmon there at the end but there's definitely no burn we're a little blue a little purple down here but otherwise everything is looking great that's the 309 L filler wire on a stainless to mild steel lap weld now we'll do the same thing on the mild steel to mild steel and it'll give you kind of a different angle for this one Again, just a practice pass to know where my hands are going to be. You want to look for that little C right there in the joint. And when you see that, you know you're penetrating, add your filler. Keep that steady arc length at all times, even dip. Keep the electrode pointed into the joint. Guys, I'm sorry, I put the wrong card in when I was doing the mild to mild weld. I put the 2 gig card in instead of the 16, so we kind of lost a little bit of it. But there you can see it again. That filler is nice and shiny. There is a slight little bit of salmon color right there at the end. But everything is nice and flat. Everything is beautiful. That is that 309L. That is a handy, handy rod to have on hand. It works great on both mild to mild and stainless to mild. Got some good scavengers in it. And we did it all with the Eastwood TIG 200. That's a heck of a machine for a heck of a price. You look around online, check out Eastwood's website. You can pick that bad boy up for around 700 bucks when it's on sale. And we're talking a 200 amp dual voltage AC DC machine. Well, that's it for this episode of Adventures in Welding. Thanks for watching. Now get the hell out of my shop. I got to prepare for the Steeler game. <laughs>